install we got to make the hole at the bottom of the, of the nozzle so what I'm going to do is that put it at uh, 15 milliamps and then uh, switch on the laser and then I will just uh, trigger the laser a quick shot until I see it appear on the plastic at the bottom there we are I'm just making sure the laser is cleared so I'm pushing it a little again so the um, the hole in the nozzle is quite round and perfect sure if you can't see but you can see a little pinhole which is not quite centered but that is the main reason why my nozzle had no hole at the bottom okay so before we run our first test we got to check out if the air assist nozzle is well attached um, so uh, I use a regular uh, air compressor and then I'm using, um, blowing the air through this piece right here, which uh, takes the moisture out of the air, or at least part of it. Uh, and then it goes right up to here, which I use this mainly for a valve, but it's a very uh, a cheap valve which leaks. And the gauge doesn't work very well, so the pressure I'm reading here is not exactly the right pressure. So, okay, I'm uh, gonna attach the compressor right here. And then attach the air assist nozzle right here all right so I read a little bit on this and uh, people use around 40 or 50 psi for this and when I uh, went and read the specs of this tube it does withstand to that uh, pressure so that's why I used a very flexible tube which doesn't apply any force on the stepper motor as it moves okay so let's start it uh, we're going to open the valve very gradually and if the uh, air assist nozzle is not well attached, it's going to pop out. Halfway there. And fully open. So it works. Alright. And then we are ready to go for it.